Hey everyone, James Nickemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. I am set up at the campground here on Lake Eufaula and getting ready to start the actual, the fourth stop. We're past the midway point after this event for the MLF Big Five Pro Circuit here on Lake Eufaula. And I wanted to do a quick tackle prep tip. Something that, um, that I don't know that a lot of guys are doing anymore, something that uh, I think can make a difference in the number of fish you catch, and that's inserting rattles in your soft plastics. Um, I think years ago, guys threw a lot of jigs with rattles in them, and there's still some that are, that are offered that way, but soft plastic, inserting rattles or glass rattles in your soft plastics, some, not something that uh, a lot of guys do, and so I wanted to give you or share this, uh, this quick tip with you guys on how I do that. And um, I think that it makes a difference in the number of bites you're gonna get with soft plastics because it gives them something to kind of hone in on. This is my actual box of uh, Strike King rodents, just the different colors I carry on tour. And then I've got a little bag of glass rattles here. And in this uh, bag of glass rattles, try not to pinch off any appendages when I close it. I have the brass casing of a 22, like you would have in a 22 gauge um, rifle or handgun or something like that. Just the brass casing portion of it. And um, this is what I'm going to use to make it so that I can insert a rattle into my soft plastics. So here's the striking rodent. And then I'm going to grab a rattle here. So I'm going to take this and use it to kind of make a, just to hollow out a spot for the rattle to go into. Hold, I'm going to hold onto the bait. I'm going to start probably about the third segment because I don't want it to get in the way of the, the hook. And I'm just going to shove this in there as level as possible so that it's basically inside the bait itself kind of like that and then just go ahead and pull it back out and then there's going to be this little plastic portion I'm going to need to pull that out too just kind of keep pulling it out of there so you should have that right there and then that has made a place a cavity for my rattle to go in just like that and there you go. Just a quick uh, insertion of a rattle into my soft plastic rodent. And um, I want it to be as straight as possible so that when you put it on the hook, um, it doesn't really change the overall appearance of it or the action of it as it goes through the water. But uh, basically that 22 brass is about the same size as a rattle and really helps um, make a place for the rattle to go into. And then I always go, I carve it from the tip or the top heads, head portion where you put the hook in and I carve into it this way so that when you're casting it the rattle just gets uh, seated in the plastic as opposed to if you came from this direction um, the, the rattle could have a chance to, to fall out so basically it creates like a little pocket but that's really it guys that's just my uh, quick tackle prep tip inserting rattles into your soft plastic uh, baits like your Strike King rodents like this. So hopefully that helps. It's something that I think can get you more bites, especially in off-colored water and uh, places where there's a lot of vegetation, grass, and, and things like that, brush. So check that out. Try that. If you're going to put a rattle in there, try just a, a little brass casing from a, a, 22, um, a 22 bullet. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, good fishing.